Welcome back to End Times Prophecy News for the 7 p.m. report. It's been confirmed. Look who colluded with the foreign spies. Just more and more big evidence coming out on the on the corrupt part of our uh, government. In an attempt to retain its position as CIA director under Hillary Clinton, John Brennan colluded with British and Estonian spies in order to cripple Trump's candidacy from spectator.org. An article in The Guardian last week provides more confirmation that John Brennan was the American progenitor of political espionage aimed at defeating Donald Trump. One side did collude with foreign powers to tip the election, Hillary's. Seeking to retain his position as CIA director under Hillary, Brennan teamed up with British spies and Estonian spies to cripple Trump's candidacy. He used their phony intelligence as a pretext for multi-agency investigation into Trump, which led the FBI to probe a computer server connected to Trump Tower and gave cover to Susan Rice, among other Hillary supporters, to spy on Trump and his people. John Brennan's CIA operated like a branch office of the Hillary campaign, leaking out mentions of this bogus investigation to the press in hopes of inflicting maximum political damage on Trump. An official in the intelligence community tells Taz that Brennan's retinue of uh, political radicals didn't even bother to hide their activism, decorating offices with Hillary for President Cups and other campaign paraphernalia. A supporter of the American Communist Party at the height of the Cold War, Brennan brought into the CIA a raft of subversives and gave them plum positions from which to gather and leak political espionage on Trump. He bastardized standards so that these left-wing activists could burrow in and take career positions. Under the patina of that phony professionalism, they could then present their politicized judgments as nonpartisan. It's going to take a while for these people to come to justice. Be patient, brothers and sisters. This guy lost. John Ossoff lost bigly last night. Dems are beginning to wonder if they will ever win another election again from Politico. For all the roiling, remember the Politico's leftist publication, for all the roiling anger and energy at the grassroots, the party still fell short in Georgia and Kansas, and Democratic prospects in upcoming elections aren't promising. As it became clear late Tuesday evening that John Ossoff would fall just short of the 50% mark in the first round of voting in a suburban Atlanta special election, Democrats back in Washington started leafing through their calendars and asking, when does the winning start? Ossoff's moral victory, capturing 48% of the vote in a conservative-oriented district, was welcome. But after two successful close but no cigar finishes in House special elections in Georgia and Kansas, a new worry is beginning to set in. Now, um, I just wanted to show you something on my channel. Uh, my recent videos this morning, such as almost as many Americans died of drugs and cocaine and stuff like that. All right. Now, I just want to show you something. Uh, in this video, I start talking about marijuana again. So I wanted to give you a little heads up. Uh, actually, it didn't work. Oh, that's okay. Now I know why. All right, so it did work. I just didn't repin it. I pin this comment. All comments will be approved for this video since there are so many that think calling evil is good and good is evil. Because I talked about marijuana, as you see here. All right. So, <clears throat> I uh, since then I have approved other comments, but. Uh, the reason why? Because we have several people who listen to me who are just dead set on propagating marijuana as some sort of a cure-all. Now, so this is going to continue. I will. <laughs> uh, and I will continue to hit this. And I'm going to show you why, praise God. For the wonderful... Oops, can't get this to work. For the wonderful testimonies. 
<coughs> so this is a little testimony time now. Uh, drug problem is destroying a knit and fabric of the we the people on every angle and strand. Cut by cut by Earth's harvester. Brandy Pompeo, been with me quite a long time. Lord Jesus Christ healed this man at church of his pain. Even though all of his cartilage is gone, he is still pain free by the power of prayer. God bless you, Brother Jim. You have no idea how much you have helped me these last few weeks. Clean and sober, 10 days so far, weed and alcohol. I've personally witnessed the heroin epidemic firsthand. Two friends I know are dead. Brother in prison, heroin again. Keep up the good work. Praise God that someone is cutting through the BS and telling the truth according to his word. How many died that doctors over overdosed them? Go to a pharmacist, look at all the drug. Okay. Uh, Mr. Beckwith, I have three kids and I pray every day that God will help them to quit their drug habit. I ask you and everyone who reads this to help me in my prayers, please. Pray for Faith Wixel. God bless you, Faith. Pain pills are the gateway drugs. They sure are. Amen to that, Charles Lester. Thanks, Jim, for bringing the truth. So many live in a fake reality of mind rather than a fake faith reality of hope and confidence in the blessed hope of Jesus Christ who bled on the cross for us. Somehow many think that filling themselves with weed smoke in their lungs is better than alternative better ways all over the internet. High seems to be the thrill of so many rather than getting high on scriptures in the KJV. Being cool is the popular thing now I, these days, I guess. The history of America is getting dirtier and dirtier. And so, so that's probably pretty much it. Uh, I believe there's some more down here. You can't get make you can't make America great if you're stoned. Organ Organiholic says, okay. Truth. So there's some great comments by you uh, folks, and there's some bad ones. And why? Uh, the bad ones will be thrown in the garbage and not approved. Why? Because those of you who listen to me, not that I'm against you, but I want you to prove your faith by your works. As James chapter 2 says, I want you to give God a chance and I want you to stop leaving your comments about defending marijuana. You need to stop. Now, the Bible I mean, I, I give scripture in, down in here somewhere how the Bible says many times that we are to uh, be clean, uh, be sober. About six, seven scriptures in the New Covenant. I gave it down here somewhere to someone. All right. So <clears throat> very important. And so uh, it's one of the fruits. Uh, uh, it's one of our things of sanctification that we do. And you say, oh, okay, sober has nothing to do with getting high. Really, are you serious? A person's mind is far more affected by marijuana when they're high than it is by alcohol. Now, alcohol is bad too, but the scripture does say that a little bit of wine, Paul talks about, is good for your stomach, for, for healing of stomach. And uh, But the point here is, is that Alcohol doesn't twist your brain all up. Both of them kill brain cells. True. Uh, there is more memory loss from marijuana by far, but it doesn't matter. What matters is this. We need to prove our faith and obedience to God. Now, you can stop leaving your remarks, your negative remarks, especially your nasty ones who listen to me constantly, and I know who you are, and some of you are now been blocked, okay? So uh, you need to stop. And so every time I talk about this subject, probably on this video, I'm gonna do the same thing. I will make comments only for approval for this video because people are changing. They are cleaning up their lifestyle, being born of God, born of incorruptible seed. 
they as it second says it in uh, second Corinthians 7 9 they have godly sorrow now they have faith more than a mustard seed that God will heal them they're proving their faith through works and that's what I'm asking you to do instead of leaving your your ilk about how I need to take drugs pain pills all the time I don't want to hear it I don't want to hear it your pain pill is Jesus Christ do you not have enough faith to believe that he can heal you well if you do then you will stop leaving your nasty comments you stop attacking me when all I'm trying to get you to do is practice your faith by your works. Thank you for listening. God bless you. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their